Hey guys, Jeff here. Um, out hunting morels again. Now, I'm in a brand new area that I've, I've never been into. Now, the sycamores, the, the elm trees, the black cherries, the drainage, everything looks perfect, but I have not found a mushroom yet, but I've only walked 30 yards. But if you look down through here, up through there, there's this bank. We got elm tree. I think that's an elm tree. It looks dead. But I think that's an elm tree. But this is also north facing. So the mushrooms may not be up yet in here. But you can see a deer trail through here. Main deer trail down through there. There's good drainage off this mountain. And this... The steer trail just runs right down through here. So I would expect where this this bench is, the runoff, and then this little saddle, the sag, that's going to create disturbances with the water. And therefore, mushrooms should grow in this little saddle. Like I said, I've not found anything yet. But I think it's just a matter of time before I do. So let's walk down through here. See if we can't find another shed today. That would be nice. Now I gotta walk back out of here. So as far as I go in, then I'm gonna go a little bit over to the west and then uh, walk out through here, see what I find. I'll talk to you when I find the first mushroom. Well guys, I just walked down through this, and if you look, there's sycamores, there's there's elms all through there. I don't know, other than maybe the winter runoff was a little too late this year, and it disturbed the soil too much, but these are the kind of places that I usually find them. I mean, sandy soil, you find them up in this brush along the edge of these washes. There's not a mushroom down through there. Not a single fungi. So, something's wrong here. Maybe, maybe this one is due to timing. Maybe if I come back in here in, let's say, 10 days. <clears throat> This could be loaded through here. But right now we're getting this major heat wave and things are just hot. I mean, it's it's 80, 82 degrees today and it's gonna dry the soil out real quick and it's gonna stop that fungi from growing. I'm just really, really surprised. Like, I really struck out. Unless I find one here in a second, but I thought this was golden. I truly, when I first seen this, I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be a mother load. But nope, we're coming up empty. All right, off to the next spot, I guess. Guys, yeah, so I was walking out, walking across this bridge. And I look down over here, and this is exactly what I was expecting down there. But you look here, we got one there, we got one there, and I imagine, oh, there's one up there, they're probably filtered up through here. So. I don't know what the difference is of why things are 100% all the time where they're at. But there's three right here. We're going to look around through this rhubarb. There's another one over there. This is probably just littered with them through here. So I'm going to get the bag out. We're going to harvest these and see what else we got down through here. But yeah. Pretty happy. So 
we got a couple guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, look how this is growing out of this soil. It's like on this mound. Another one right there on the bank. And the other one I found, a couple of them were growing right out of this. You see where I cut the one off and there was another one down there. So right out of that bank right there, that little bit higher spot. I don't know what it is about this area. I might go across the creek and, and take a peek out there, but I'm happy to uh, find some morellas on this fine day. So I'll let you know if I find any more. So 10 or 11 of them here. And it's going out of these clumps, the side of this bank. And so since I found so many right in here, along this little wash, I would expect up through here somewhere, maybe a few more, or follow this little drainage up, and maybe that's where the host tree is and the mother load. Um, it's kind of weird sometimes. But there's a reason why they grow in some places and not others. So let's just hike up through here just a little bit and then get out of here. I got my 10 for the day. But there's a tree up here that I bet you was the host. And it's none of these. There's a reason. So we're going to get on up out of here and maybe hit another spot, maybe go home for the night. I'm getting hungry and we got a few morels. So we came, we saw, we conquered. So off to the next spot, I guess pheasant tail so moisture content is good right there there's got to be morels down through here I mean it is kind of dry and it's quite sandy uh, a little more sandy than I'd like it but there's got to be a couple fungi through here I mean this just looks perfect this looks really good where this has been flooded and I'm not seeing nothing. Maybe that's all I get tonight. Oh well. It was a fun trek. We'll get on up out of here and Head to the truck. There's some trees over here I want to check on the way out. So, we'll see you over there. Well, guys, this is what we got for tonight.